Hello everybody, my name is Kedemoir and welcome to franchise mode of NHL 19. This is going to be a new let's play uh, until at least Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. Not entirely sure. Uh, it comes out Friday, next Friday. Um, that's coming up like in, in two weeks or so. So I'm really excited for that game. But until then, boys, uh, we're going to play this game. I guess we needed a second game to play. So let's play that. Uh, I want now. I wanted to do for my franchise mode uh, the Red Wings. Why? Because they absolutely suck to uh, this year. And I wanted. To, I wanted to try and make this team a natural good team and whatnot. Uh, and we're gonna play, of course, in a cheat kind of mode, just like the other years. But it's not gonna. It's not gonna prevent us from absolutely failing. I'm actually pretty decent when I'm not in the commentary, boys, but for some reason I wasn't able to do this the proper way uh, while concentrating, but I think I should be able to do something uh, with this series. Uh, I at least make the Red Wings not suck as much. You know, they they played at least six games uh, so far in the, in the real life. They haven't won a single game, boys, and that's not normal from a team that, yes, they are in a rebuild mode, but they still have pretty decent players. At least they've got somewhat of a team, unlike Montreal, which has almost no team, but is playing like gods right now, which is really cool for me because I'm from Montreal, so it's my team, but... We're going to play uh, the, the Detroit Red, Wing, Red Wings because Montreal is playing well and uh, I already played them in the last game, in the last uh, year. So let's play the Red Wings. We are going to be in the Atlantic Division, which is going to make it even more difficult for us. Well, not that difficult actually because Metropolitan Division is the one that's competition and whatnot. This one should be the easiest one, but... You never know, you've got the Temple Bay Lightning, the Maple Leafs as well, which in real life, I hope they're they're going to be th in this one as good as in real life. Now, let's bring out uh, Owner Mode, Nash, N Initial Seller Cap, Morale and whatnot, all of these stuff. Fog of War is a new thing, boys, I don't want, uh, by the, by now you guys probably know what what's what, but if you don't know, uh, there's a new system where you can basically have Fog of War, which hides the attributes of your players in the NHL as well as uh, in the for the scouts and whatnot. And you've got to actually scout your NHL players and stuff and make them play in your team to know uh, whether they're good or not and basically scout other teams as well. I, I'm going to disable that because I want to know who's who and what they're worth all right assessors coach edit lines i'm not going to put that now there is a new system of uh, scouts like i probably probably managed to understand boys so i'm going to show you guys really quick what kind of, i'm going to make three minutes because we are going to go into uh, some games the uh, same some game plays sometimes uh, i don't know every two videos or something i'm not entirely sure boys but Let's take uh, this off. Auto save on. Uh, tributes, yes. I want trades easy. Uh, draft ownership. There we go. We got everything. Difficulty, rookie, why not? It doesn't change anything. A fog of war. We're good. Waivers, I don't want waivers. All right, we're good, boys. And scouting for both, all right? So. There's a new scouting, a st scouting system. I'm going to show you guys once we are in the actual thing. We are going to enable the uh, injuries this year. They're not as bad as the uh, as last the last games, so we're going to enable them for sure. We're going to play that on no, uh, fully healed. We're going to wait for the players to be fully healed though. Um, trade notification, sure. Waiver notification, yes. And what's the other things? Morale? No, I don't want that. All right, we're good. And gameplay sliders. So let's go into gameplay sliders and bring that up. The injuries, bring that down to nine. So this is the perfect place. If you, any YouTubers or whatever, during a franchise mode, I doubt they're watching me, but 
you're gonna you you, you want to go to nine out of out of a hundred. That's the best uh, option right there. You do get injuries, but not like uh, overwhelmed. You're not overwhelmed by injuries by doing that. So you're it's fine. You get like two or three injuries by most. If you want a little bit more, you get ten. Uh, you go to ten, but then at ten, you get quickly overwhelmed already. So there's no like balance. It's like the other games. You you want to go to nine. It's the perfect balance. Because at 10 you get overwhelmed, at 8 you don't get any injuries, so you got mine. Now, first things first boys, what we're gonna do, I don't even know if we're gonna actually do some simulation, maybe of the preseason. I'm not entirely sure just yet for the first video what we're gonna do boys, but first thing we need to do is look at our roster. Alright, so let's look at our roster, what, look at what we got. We are rebuild our team as you can see right there, that's what it said. Um, for centers now, our centers we got a second, a third, a third, or fourth, or fourth. We've got too many centers, boys, and it, we need one to be able to play in the AHL because we don't have any. We have three players in the AHL. Do we have a prospect or something? Top nine. We don't ha even have a center prospect, so that's not good. We don't have anybody to replace. L Larkin's pretty much the future, as you can see. Yeah. Not really, right? All right, so what we need to do is basically get rid of either Anne or Rasmussen because um, I need to. I'm gonna need a paper in a in a it's in something for that, but that's okay. So a, a pen and a paper, but we need to get rid of Christopher N or Michael Ris uh, Rasmussen now I want to keep probably Rasmussen he's a top six medium uh, N is a top nine but I want to look at the stats that's the most important thing is want to look at the stats so he hasn't played and okay both hasn't played so I'm gonna keep going a uh, far reach here and I'm gonna keep Rasmussen just because he's got the best potential all of these two so Rasmussen I'm gonna keep him on the fourth line I'm gonna keep Atanasiu and I guess Nielsen and and I'm gonna trade him I'm gonna to have to trade N boys for a center AHL center I guess let's go for left wing we've got one two three four all right do we have anybody we're good all right so deaf now this guy is a deaf forward uh, Matt Pumpel he should be playing in the NHL as a replacement but since we don't have any players right now we're gonna keep him where he is and okay so left wing we're good right wing let's see one two three four so far we're good no we're not good at all we've got too many right wingers that are good for the NHL in itself now with Kowski we can probably play one of these uh, as a deaf forward, yeah. So Glendening or Witkowski, I'm gonna keep uh, Glendening. Witkowski, I'm gonna get rid of him. So Glendening is gonna be my deaf forward, boys. Chris Terry, I'm gonna keep him where he is. So Glendening is gonna be my deaf forward, and with uh, Witkowski, I'm gonna have to trade him. All right, that's good. So a, a bunch of NH AHL players. We don't have anybody in the system, boys, for the AHL, which is not good because we don't have any prospects. We're gonna need some for the future. Uh, all right. So the defensemen. One, two, three, four, five. All right. It always be. You can see it goes pretty bad. Six. So our best, uh, our worst defenseman right now is Jensen. Uh, he's a deaf forward. The deaf defenseman, he should be our deaf defenseman. He shouldn't be our top six. Um, Ronek, okay, these guys are not ready not ready at all to play in the NHL. That's not good. We, we cannot let them play in the NHL. They're not ready at all. Uh, Cholowski, he's ready, so we're going to put him in there, I guess. Well, he's not ready, but he's a deaf. So what we're going to do is we're going to play him on the top six. And we're gonna uh, let Jensen, I guess, be the deaf defenseman that he's supposed to be. All right, so we're good on defense for that. And now there is a problem for goaltenders. Uh, both are kind of awful in real life, but I imagine in the game they're gonna be better than this. 
they're going to be play, uh, playing better. They're both starters. Now, both can play backup just as about as fine. So there's no problem with having a backup. Uh, one of them has backup, so I don't feel like I need to trade them. But since they're so close to each other, I don't know. We're going to... We're going to keep the, those two for now together. Uh, if it goes, the season goes bad or something, we're going to trade one of them. Uh, we're, we'll see eventually who's the worst goaltender out of them. So just a little recap, boys. We're trading N for an NHL center. And we are trading. Uh, let me see. We're trading. This is going to be our death forward. There we go. We're trading Wikowski for our a forward all right or ahl forward as well so let's go ahead and do that we're going to do best lines for now just because i don't want to take care of the lines just yet we're going to do the tr go right into the trades uh i'll show you guys the, tr the trading uh, assets i want to get uh, as soon as i scout everything all right so here's what i'm going to try to get i'm going to try to get carrick and dust uh, dusty both are like HL players. Uh, Carrick 73, uh, Dusty uh, let's see 70, 64. It's just to fill up the roster for the centers, uh, just to make sure that we got enough players or stuff. Or actually, you know what? I I think I have enough players, don't I? Let me check if I do. I have enough uh, centers. Uh, I've got one, two, three. I don't have enough. All right, I don't have enough. So uh, for one, but all right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna forget about Dusty. Then we're gonna go for. We're gonna try to get a, a right wing. We need right wings for the AHL. All right, th this guy is a prospect. He's a deaf forward though. He's kind of a risk. He might be able to play this year. So I kind of don't want to take him just because he's gonna be ready, but. We could always try anyways. I don't know, man. No, it's, it's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be good for us. So this is a fourth line. Minor scoring. We're going to take this guy. Why not? All right. Blend easy. Uh, this should be good enough. Trade accepted. There we go. We've got two AHL players for the price of one player that uh, wasn't going to play anyway. So there we go. Our last settlement for the system is there. That's good. Uh, now our right wing, we've got another guy right here. That's, uh, he's already put in there, that's good. All right, so we need to trade Witkowski. That's the last guy we need to trade, uh, at least for this year. So let me uh, go take a look at what we got here. All right, let's see if we can do that trade straight up. Witkowski for Archibald, which Archibald is 74. If 25 years of age. He's not going to get too much. Like, I'm getting bottom sixes. They're not going to go to the NHL at all, boys. But they can contribute in uh, the AHL. And that's what I want. So let's get them. There we go. Straight up. We've got... Uh, we've got exactly what we wanted. Out of all these players. Now we do... Keep in mind, uh, Clendening, his uh, friends in his ear. Frenzen's going to be our, I guess, Frenzen's going to be our death forward, boys. And we need a deaf defenseman. It's going to be Jensen. All right, we're good. We've got all of our players done. It's best lines for now. I'm going to go back right away to the lineups once uh, I'm good, all right, once I have done everything else. So first thing we, we want to do, we're going to go into edit strategies right away. Uh, actually, look at the captains and jerseys. So who's our captain right now? Larkin's our captain. We're going to keep that as it is. We don't want to switch a captain. Advocator and Cronwall are both of our assistants. All right. So now we're going to go into edit strategies. I'm going to show you guys what I do in order to make my team somewhat of a, a decent team. I'm going to go weed side lock. One to two red. All right. Standard. Normal. Staggered large box shooting. No, I want overload. All right, I want blue to blue five back. I want single swing instead. Close support aggressive on three on three. 
All right, that's my uh, strategies. I want to go overload for all of them. All right, overload for all of them. Just because um, I want them to shoot. So I want the defenseman to shoot a lot more. To be a lot more present. There we go. I want the four of my, like, there we go. I want my lineups to to shoot a lot more, all right? Shoot if you get the chance, do it. All right, there we go. Making sure that they all shoot. All right, so we're good. Uh, AHL, I, I need to do that for the AHL as well, all right? So let's just do that for the AHL as well. But that's what I was telling you, boys. I don't know if I'm actually going to do any simulation in this video. We'll see how it goes. Normal, I'm doing this pretty quick. I mean, I'm pretty, like used to this at this point so it's nothing new for me overload shoot the, a lot i want you to shoot a little bit more overload as well overload we're good a little bit more shooting and overload as well a little bit more shooting defense lots of shooting there we go there we go that's my strategies right there boys so now that that is done, I'm going to show you guys the new system, which is the system of the scouts. Now, uh, the scouts, I need to see where they are. We've, you've got a scout for each region. So you want a scout for each region. At least you can get more than that. But uh, I'm, I'm keeping that as it is. So HL, OHL is fine. He's A+. Plus. Uh, Dell is fine. He's an A. Um, let's see USA Central what kind of like where is he good at as you can see uh, he's a guy for the USA USA West or East do we have already a USA East which is really good so we're gonna put him in USA West instead boys so ch change the region as you can see right here we've got North America we're gonna go to USA there we go USA West there we go. Much he's gonna be much better in there. Now, QNGHL is fine. Uh, SHL is fine. Liga, kind of okay. So North Atlantic, I need you to switch. I need to switch you for something else. Just hold on a minute. Uh, USA East. Okay, so all these NHL scouts, I don't want them. So I got Russia. He's not very good at Russia. Let me see if he's good anywhere else. Uh, rest of the world, no. Uh, Liga, SHL, we already have that. Dell, I don't think we have Dell or rest of the world. So we can put him on Dell or West, uh, rest of the world, boys. Actually, we already have Dell. All right, never mind. So he's going to be our rest of the world guy, which he's not going to do too much, boys, because rest of the world never has anybody in there. There are just never any players in there, boys. But oh well. Okay. So WHL is fine by me. Let's check out these scouts really quick. Um, any of them who can basically switch up. So we don't have. We have OHL, QNJHL, and WHL. So everything in, the, in Canada is done. For US, we need US Central for sure. So let's see if we can get that. Anybody for the US Central? This guy's not yet good. Anybody for US Central? I'm still looking, boys. Uh, nope, we don't have anything so far. They're all pretty bad. E, no. Oh, we do have somebody right here. So this guy's really good. A plus for US Central. We've got our last guy for the US, boys. So last guy right here for the US. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's see if these guys are actually any good outside of uh, any outside of the NHL. I guess we don't have. Doesn't seem like it. They a my. They are a my. He's a minus in OHL, so not at all. So we're gonna fire him. We don't need him. Central scout, NHL central. Is he good uh, anywhere else? He's not good anywhere else. We don't want him, boys. Uh, NHL Pacific. 
and he's not good anywhere so we don't want him either we are gonna fire him we're firing a lot of scouts boys so anything that's canada and us is already done uh, europe we need uh, nla Astro league and ebel we need for scandinavia just the alsvenskan and for russia we already have all so it's alsvenskan NLA, Estrella, and Ebel that we need, boys. So we don't need this guy. We probably won't need this guy as well. Yeah, he's going to be pretty bad, pretty shitty. They don't have good scouts, I got to say, boys. They really don't. Yeah, they really don't have any good scouts. All right, so Atlantic, the last one. Uh, yeah, I need to fire him. All right, we're good. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, and hire some scores uh, co coach what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and hire some scouts now boys so press start we're gonna go into scouts now for the scouts when you want to hire uh, them you've got all sorts of region uh, region uh, so first thing we know that we need on Europe we need Dell uh, we need NLA uh, what's it? Extra Liga and Elbel. So first things first. Let's look at that. So Extra Liga. This guy is really good for Extra Liga. We're gonna get him for the contract. He's gonna accept because we don't have the salary cap thing. And this guy, he's good enough for Ebel. So we're gonna take him for Ebel. There we go. And we're just gonna need one for NLA boys now. Now NLA, we need to find someone that's actually decent uh, I guess this guy is good enough he's a and NLA so we're gonna put him in there and we just need one more guy for the for Scandinavia for the what's it called Asvenskan boys so that's good this guy's much better for a plus so we're gonna put him in there there we go and one thing that's always uh, cool in this game as well is once the player Certain players that actually retire after one year are going to become scouts, boys, which is really cool. So let's go ahead already. I'm going to as assign them. No worries, boys. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the assignments and stuff. I want to do this on my own time. So let me just do that. And I'm going to see you guys once my lineups for the team are actually done now. Here's what the team's going to look like, at least for the beginning of the season. Uh, it's not that great it's not that good but oh uh, it will have to make do we'll have to make do with what we got so it's gonna be Vanek with Nielsen and Nyquist on the first line uh, Abdel Kader, Larkin and Menta on the second line Elm, Atanasiu and Ferk on the third line fourth line is gonna be Bertuzzi, Rasmussen and Glendening all right for the defense it's gonna be the, the Kaiser and Green Kronval and Daly, Eriksson and Cholowski were really bad on the defense, really bad. We don't have any depth, basically. And uh, for goalies, you already know Howard and uh, Bernier. So, for scratch team, uh, so the, our D-man that's going to be scratch, that's going to be for replacement, injury replacement, it's going to be Nick Jensen. And for the players, the forwards, it's going to be Johan Frenzen, boys. So let's go ahead and show you guys the NHL, uh, the AHL now. It's going to be Pupil, Carrick, you can see right here. These are three, uh, two guys right here, Pupil and Terry, which are death forwards. Uh, Evgeny Shashnikov, we know this is a really good prospect. Top six, we really want to keep an eye on him, boys. And uh, I guess that's about it. We also have defense-wise uh, Ronak and Sulak, which are both pretty high prospects boys but um, for now they need to keep they need to play in the NHL and we've got in the goalie system a salary and rebar all right so we don't have anything really we have kind of a little bit of prospects but it's a bunch of top sixes top fours it's not uh, for demons it's not any elites all right we don't have a really good like future star on our as a prospect for now the only stars we've got are 
not even Nyquist, it's basically Menta, which is an elite, boys. And that's why he's playing with uh, Larkin. Both of them are playing the second line because they need to grow, so... They need to keep growing, so they need to play on the actual lineup it says they... Uh, it tells them to play, alright? So that's where they're gonna play. And I guess we're done for right here. So we can go ahead and simulate, boys. And do a, do a little bit of simulation just for the preseason and stuff. Now, we're going to advance a couple of days because I want to wait for the scouts to say yes. There we go. We've got a, one scout. we got a second scout. We need a four of scouts. So a third scout. And let me see really quick. We don't have a, a fourth scout. There we go. There's the fourth scout, boys. So let me just go ahead and... Um, Tell these scouts where to go to uh, assign them and I'll see you guys for the simulation again. We're back into the simulation. Let's see how it goes for the preseason. Now preseason is just a preseason. Alright, we've got Darren Helm apparently injured himself. But for barely like a minute. So didn't uh, change anything to our lineup. Alright, so uh, preseason is just basically the preseason. So it doesn't mean anything. But I uh, can get a little quick, uh, quick look at what our team might look like. So 3-3, three, three, it's not that good. But I'm feeling confident, boys. So um, what we're going to do now, I think my scouts are fine uh, the way, as the way they are. So we're good on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do already the first month of simulation in uh, this video, boys. And for the uh, the uh, second video, the next video, we're going to do a uh, second month of simulation, boys. Um, so let's go ahead and do the first month and see how everything goes. Uh, get our fills for the team a little bit. See how they play on overload completely. So very aggressive, very offensive. Let's see if it works out for us. Uh, we just lost 7 to 2. That's not good. All right, so that's two losses in a row. Uh, three losses in the row against Montreal now. At least we did get two wins so far. So it's already better than uh, the real-time uh, Red Wings in real life. So that's good. We do get some like goals when we win. We get uh, we score when we win a lot, but um, we don't. We we did get a couple of losses though. All right. So Mikkel Rat is injured, but he's fully healed. Did it, did it change anything? It didn't change anything. All right, it shouldn't tell me where if they get a little bit injured like that. It doesn't matter to me. So, there we go. Uh, it's a tie. It's a tie for the first month, boys. We ended. We end up with a, a record of 6-6. Six and six, Which means we should have probably lost a couple more games. Well, the, the six games, I don't like that. Six games, losses, six losses in regulation, I don't like that. Should have been, if if, if it would have been in, uh, overtime or something, it would have been much better, boys. We're at five and five after last the last ten games, boys. So that's the first month. Where are we? We are in Atlantic Division. We're in, a, like, for now, for after the first month, of course, we are... In a good spot, we're we're doing fine, but god damn, I don't like this, boys. I don't f like how like the team plays. It's not so far. It's good enough as it is. Six and six. I'm not gonna do anything really. I can't do anything uh, for real. But let's see what what it looks like for the stats and uh, stats wise and stuff. If there's anything we need to take in mind, so what? How the the players play basically? So Menta is. Let's see our best scorers. So Larkin is our best player uh, scorer at five goals. So that's really good. Menta is playing really great, boys. Twelve points in twelve games. Point per game player, really good. Larkin's doing great. Uh, uh, Nielsen, not so much though. He's playing on the first line, which he shouldn't be doing, but he doesn't have a choice in order to for Larkin to grow. He needs to play on the first line. So he's not doing that great in the first line, but like he's doing all, all right with the points. So it's a it's kind of a balance, boys. It's a balance. He's doing fine with the shooting percentage and stuff. So I'm fine with the way he is. 
uh, Nyquist. Now Nyquist is having a little bit of difficult, uh, difficult time on the, uh, as you can see, minus two is seven percent only. So Nyquist is not playing that great on the first line. First line is really struggling, boys. So that's the yeah. First line is struggling with Vanek. So we can all we could always switch up Vanek with Abdul Kader, I think, and uh, we should be good. Yeah, Abdul Kader is doing well. It's doing better. Vanek is actually doing fine. We don't want to switch Vanek. He's doing fine. He's doing twelve percent. Uh, maybe well, maybe if we switch Vanek and Abdul Kader, we're doing it. We're gonna be better. But for now, I don't want to do any line changes because. Uh, it's six and six it's a tie we're in a good spot anyways so it doesn't matter the the goaltenders are actually playing a uh, good they're playing really good they're having a good season so far but the team be, uh, in front of them is just not good enough boys but we'll look at that we'll take a look at that actually let's take a look at our stats uh, our team stats after that maybe we can change something maybe the power play could help out if we change it up a little bit more boys so let's see what we got um, goals per game we'll see uh, see where we are we're in the best teams for goals per game so we are scoring goals boys we're doing great on that uh, on our I'm lo just looking at the division right now so goals against per game we're actually one of the best huh so we are very defensive we're playing even we're playing even boys uh so that's okay power play is god awful though yeah well not that much actually we're kind of in the middle one two three four five out of eight yeah we could be doing better but i mean we're doing fine on the power play and what about the penalty kill Penalty kill now penalty kill needs to be improved. All right, so we need to improve the penalty kill and I, f I guess that's it boys. So penalty kill is the only thing I could see that we needed to improve So I'm gonna fix that up and I'm gonna see you guys for the next video I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you guys for the next one Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy boys